I had trained as a radio engineer, you'd call him an electronics engineer these days, and I was interviewed and given a job at Stevenage, which was then the de Havilland Propellers. And I started work there on Blue Streak, which had been designed as a guided rocket for distributing atomic bombs, I suppose. Now, my first job on Blue Streak was working on the radar transponders. There were two ground radar stations, one looking at the rear end of the vehicle as it was launched and one looking from the side. And to enhance the strength of the signal, they had radar transponders which received the signal It was then taken aboard by ELDO, the European Launcher Development Organization, which included England, or Britain, France, Germany and Italy. The Blue Streak was the first stage of a three-stage rocket. It had the French stage mounted on top of it, the German stage on top of that, and the Italian bit, which was a communication satellite, on top of that. I spent three years on that project. The rocket itself, Blue Streak, was built by the Havillands. It was um, tested at Spade Adam up in Cumberland, and then shipped out to Woomera in Australia for its launch. 